by all. In this video we will see what is SOAP. How SOAP works. Hope this video will be helpful to all. SOAP is an acronym for Simple Object Access Protocol. It is an XML based messaging protocol for exchanging information among computers. It is an application of XML specification. SOAP is a communication protocol designed to communicate via Internet. SOAP can extend HTTP for XML messaging. SOAP provides data transport for web services. SOAP can exchange complete documents or call a remote procedure. SOAP can be used for broadcasting a message. SOAP is platform and language independent. SOAP is the XML way of defining what information is sent and how. SOAP enables client applications to easily connect to remote services and invoke remote methods. SOAP can be used in a variety of messaging systems and can be delivered via a variety of transport protocols. The initial focus of SOAP is remote procedure calls transported via HTTP. Other framework including Corba, DCOM, and Java RMI provide similar functionality to SOAP, but SOAP messages are written entirely in XML and are therefore platform and language independent. A SOAP message is an ordinary XML document containing the following elements, envelope, header, body, fault. Envelope. It defines the start and the end of the message. It is a mandatory element. Header. It contains any optional attributes of the message used in processing the message, either at an intermediary point or at the ultimate end point. It is an optional element. Body. It contains the XML data comprising the message being sent. It is a mandatory element. Fault. An optional fault element that provides information about errors that occur while processing the message. The figure depicts general structure of a SOAP message. All these elements are declared in the default namespace for SOAP envelope. All these specifications are subjected to change. Here is a SOAP request. Here get quotation request is sent to SOAP server over HTTP. The request has a quotation name parameter, and a quotation will be returned in the response. A corresponding SOAP response looks like this. SOAP encoding. SOAP includes a built-in set of rules for encoding data types. It enables SOAP message to indicate specific data types, such as integers, floats, doubles, or arrays. SOAP data types are divided into two broad categories, scalar types and compound types. Scalar types contain exactly one value such as a last name, price, or product description. Compound types contain multiple values such as a purchase order or a list of stock quotes. Compound types are further subdivided into arrays and structs. Latest SOAP specification adopts all built-in types defined by XML schema. It has its own convention for defining constructs not standardized by XML schema, like arrays and references. Scalar types. For scalar types, SOAP adopts all the built-in simple types specified by the XML schema specification. This includes strings, floats, doubles, integers, date, time etc. For example, here is a SOAP response with a double data type. Compound types. SOAP arrays are a very specific set of rules, which require that you specify both the element type and array size. SOAP also supports multi-dimensional arrays, but not all SOAP implementations support multi-dimensional functionality. To create an array, you must specify it as an XSI type of array. 
The array must also include an array type attribute. This attribute is required to specify the data type for the contained elements and the dimensions of the array. Here is a sample SOAP response with an array of double values. SOAP transport. SOAP is not tied to any transport protocol. SOAP can be transported via SMTP, FTP, IBM ZMQ series, or Microsoft Message Queuing, MSMQ. SOAP specification includes details on HTTP only. HTTP remains the most popular SOAP transport protocol. This is overview on SOAP protocol. Hope this video is helpful to all. Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.